I think as the world gets smaller, the ways of doing business are converging in very important areas because fundamentally most businesses are driven by the consumer and the consumer is getting more and more joined up globally. Uh, throughout the time that I've been working, people have been saying that in the jet age, the world is smaller and smaller, but actually it's the digital age that has really made that happen because as we all know now, pretty much anywhere in the world with a device, you can be connected very closely with other consumers, with businesses that you're interacting with. And in our case, just this week, for example, we've put our customers in touch with our fair trade suppliers and customers in our shops can be having a conversation with a supplier on a different continent real time as part of their retail experience. And I think that convergence is accelerating. Our purpose is championing a better way to do business for you and your community. And no other commercial organisation could really have a purpose like that other than a cooperative or a mutual. So we're owned by our members and any surplus return on capital that we make goes back to our members in the communities where they live and work. A very topical threat which has impacted a number of businesses and agencies is cyber security and we're very alive to that. In our business we are very protective of our member data because if you are a member of the cooperative then you're also an owner and it's very important that we are hugely protective of our member data. We are attacked as others are, and that's something I think one has to be alive to all the time. I think investing in cyber security is simply one of those fundamentals that pretty much every business has to recognize. And my beginnings were in retail. I've spent my career in retail. And if in those early days, somebody had suggested at board level, tell you what, we're going to build shops with no locks and we won't have any back doors. You know, the board would have thought that was completely nuts. Well, you wouldn't do the same in IT terms either. So you have to have that security, you have to have your back doors guarded and you can't regard that as somehow optional. That's just an investment that you have to make and it's not one time, it's perpetual. We need to get back to a situation where managers and owners measure success based on a period of years, not a period of weeks or days, and where the engagement with stakeholders is about those long-term plans and the success of your execution against those plans rather than the very short-term nature of markets that we've seen over recent years. In relation to other stakeholders, I think that overall social responsibility is a very important lens to apply these days. And what we've seen, again, over the period since the financial downturn, is that the old cliche is absolutely true. It takes a lifetime to build trust and a minute to lose it. And we've seen that time and time again. So what are those measures that collectively add up to you being a trusted organization?